one, we meet again with Teacher Faiza. Alright, today in this video, Teacher Faiza is going to share with you dihybrid cross. Okay, what type of dihybrid cross that produce? Okay, so in our syllabus, you need to know three types of dihybrid cross. That Mendelian dihybrid cross, okay, Mendelian dihybrid test cross, and another one is what divert from Men, uh, Mendel propose, that is link, uh, linked gene. Okay, divert from what Mendel, uh, from what Mendel's law is a linked gene. So let's explore together, class. Okay, so this is the hybrid. The three dihybrid cross that you need to know. Okay, the first one is the genetic diagram of Mendelian dihybrid. That is 93321. Okay, of the F2 generation. Another one, you need to construct a Mendelian dihybrid test cross. Okay, which uh, the penetrative ratio for F2 is 1111. And the, the third one is what is divert from Mendelian I uh, mentioned there is a dihybrid linked gene which is the ratio of the F2 is not 1 to 1 to 1. So these are the three dihybrid cross that teacher would like to share with you class. Eh? So how to recognize? Okay, Mendelian high dihybrid cross, okay, uh, the keyword is teacher would like you to emphasize. Okay, the keyword is two characteristic, okay, different gene. And different, eh? different gene at different chromosome. That is the keyword. Okay, next, this this is what the scenario. Okay, so teacher would like to emphasize like this, okay? this number. Okay, so compare to all the uh, phenotype. Okay, if you compare to the phenotype, the highest amount for parental is a yellow round is 315. Okay, which give you the ratio of 9 over 16. Okay, so if you... Uh, if, you, if the question give you this number, automatically you will know this is a Mendelian dihybrid cross. So you need to, okay, you need to construct the uh, genetic diagram. So this is this is the result, okay, and this is how you construct the diagram. So this is a parental, okay, this is the genotype of parental. You get the F1, and then the F1 cross with F1, right, F1 cross with F1, you get the F2. And this is the result, which shows a uh, 9 to Okay, 9, 2, 3, 3, 3, 1. So, this is a uh, ratio for the Mendelian dihybrid cross. Okay, am I right class? So, this one class. Eh? So, the allele of both genes show complete dominance and they are on a uh, different chromosome. Eh? Alright, so that is the first dihybrid cross. Okay, Mendelian dihybrid cross which gives you ratio 9, 3, 3, 1. Okay, next, the second one is a dihybrid test cross, okay? The Mendelian dihybrid test cross. Okay, in this case, as you all can see, right? So, the, the F1 uh, genotype, okay, is a heterozygous, okay? Teacher would like to emphasize, eh? this is a heterozygous, eh? the parental, okay? And test cross, Mendel uh, always, uh, uh, always mention that you have to cross with, the homozygous recessive, okay, this one, eh? the wrinkled green, the phenotype, okay, and what 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 you get after the test cross class, you will get the four type of gamete equal in number. Teacher, repeat again, eh? equal, equal, equal in number. So, you can see here, class, eh? okay, when you found in question, give equal number of uh, progeny that produced during the F2, where the ratio is 1 to 1 to 1, so this is Mendelian dihybrid test cross okay you get it okay next okay this is the example right okay the, the hybrid test cross so you just cross the heterozygous with the homozygous recessive and you manage to get okay the phenotypic ratio is the one to one to one to one okay done the last one is a dihybrid linked gene so how to recognize in the question this is a, the given question is a linked gene you uh, observe the result of the offspring okay the f2 or spring so uh, obviously you can see okay the parental okay produce uh, a lot okay uh, whereas the recombinant produce a little okay a little offspring for the f2 so this is okay these two uh, diagram compare which one is a linkage and which one is not linkage so this is not linkage no eh? this one is mendelian okay mendelian uh di hybrid cross okay where you have you produce four type uh, of gamete where the independent assortment occur but this is a linkage okay this is a linkage uh link linkage right so what what why, why teacher say like that because okay the two gene is situated on the same chromosome 
So there is no independent assortment occur. Okay, no eh? No independent assortment occur. Only two gametes, okay, uh, produce. Right? So this is another diagram to show it class eh? Okay, so linkage may uh, linkage with crossing over. Okay, just now class, eh? So this is a crossing over uh happen, this one. Okay, where the two non sister chromatid exchange the uh, genetic material. Okay, so this is what you get. This is gamete that non crossing over. This is non, non crossing over gamete, and these two gamete is the crossover gamete. Okay, so this is what we call a genetic combinatorial cro uh, crossing over. Okay, so that's why for this you have you must uh, able to calculate the COV crossing over value. Alright, so this is the example that teacher mentioned just now. Right, if uh, uh, if you if the question give you okay the offspring of F two is not equal, okay, so the doc this one will be the recombinant. So this one definitely you have to you have to uh draw the genetic diagram is the uh, linked gene like this because okay, eh? the linked gene, right? Okay, so uh this is the parent, okay, or this is the F one. Okay, so the another way of drawing it, eh, like this. Okay, uh, so this is another parent. Okay, so this the uh, then the, it produces. Okay, so this is the like teacher mentioned class. This is the recombinant. Okay, alright class. Uh, that's all for today. Okay, thank you for listening. Teacher hope this video will help you. Uh, to clear about the three type of dihybrid cross. Okay. Okay, thank you. See you. Bye.